Hey guys, it's Jessie with Lost Marbles Farm. I'm just going to do a quick video over one of our favorite recipes. Um, my son is obsessed with this meal. It's his favorite all time. Um, and my husband um, loves this. And In fact, he claims it's the reason why he asked me to marry him. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know, but it's a really good recipe. It's called Chicken Broccoli Casserole. It actually originated from a Weight Watchers uh, recipe that my mom cooked back in the day when she was doing Weight Watchers a long, long, long time ago. Of course, I have, um, it's not Weight Watchers. It, there's, there's nothing low fat about this, but it does have nutrition in it. It's got broccoli. So I'm gonna show you how I make it, and I will put the description in the description box, the recipe, so you can start making it for your family. It's super easy, it's delicious, and let me show you how we do it. Okay, y'all. All right, so this is a actually maybe a little bit bigger than nine by thirteen, maybe by a hair um, casserole dish. And in the bottom, I have taken either you can get a really large head of broccoli or two small heads of broccoli, and cut them up into small pieces about like this. That would probably this is probably like the biggest piece I would have. There's a bunch of little tiny pieces in there. My hands are clean, y'all. Don't worry. Don't freak out on me. Uh, you know, just little pieces. You're gonna put that in the micro, cut them into pieces, add some water, put it in the microwave for three minutes, take it out of the microwave, stir it, put it back in there for three minutes, then strain the broccoli, okay? Then you wanna put the broccoli in the bottom of your pan. Then you need to have cooked chicken and you need to shred it. Um, the recipe that I follow says six chicken legs. I don't use chicken legs I don't use six chicken legs. I just use whatever I have. Um, most of the time, I rarely ever have chicken unless we have butchered a chicken that has stopped laying eggs um, or is too old or whatever, or if it's a rooster that needs to go. <laughs> so most of the time we use rabbit. This is rabbit. This is a three pound rabbit that I cooked and shredded. Just lay that on top of the broccoli. Next, I'm gonna make the sauce and the sauce Again, I'm gonna improvise because I make it a little bit more than what the recipe calls for, but the recipe calls for a half a cup of mayo. And to that, you're gonna add, let me see if I can remember. I usually just, I don't go by the recipe, I just do it. Um, a teaspoon of lemon juice, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and, this is actually a two thirds cup of mayonnaise. I'm gonna try to. And I'm, I, I really and truly, y'all, I don't measure. I just eyeball everything. So, so this is the sauce that's super important. This is where the magic is, y'all. You gotta have some mayonnaise. Yeah. Sorry, I'm a mayonnaise lover. All right. So, this is hard to do one-handed because I don't have a camera person. All right. I'm gonna do with my spatula. All right, I had to turn the heat down because I had it on way too hot. Okay, so I'm just gonna get this going, get this hot. I've got my lemon juice in here. And it calls for a teaspoon of lemon juice. Let me double check. A teaspoon of lemon juice. I'll probably add a tablespoon because I'm making it a little bit thicker. I mean, a little bit more because I have so much in my dish. Um, so, I'm gonna go ahead and start cooking this. And then, you have to thicken it, obviously, to make a sauce. So, <clears throat> I take a um, milk with flour that I've already mixed up a little bit in a cup some flour. This calls for a tablespoon of flour. I probably have more than a tablespoon. Uh, this is why I don't share a lot of cooking videos because so much of it is just improvising. So I'm going to add that in there. Now obviously this is going to thicken up quite a bit. So you're going to keep your milk handy and just add more milk as you need it. Okay. See how it's thickening up. I'm just gonna keep adding more milk. But I'm gonna let this cook for just a little bit. I've got it on medium heat. 
Then I'm going to add curry and bouillon cubes. The recipe calls for one teaspoon of curry, and of course that's to your taste. If you wanna add more curry, you can and two chicken bouillon cubes. I don't really use bouillon cubes, but I do use this, and I absolutely love Better Than Bouillon. If you haven't used Better Than Bouillon, you need to. They've got it in just about every flavor. It's fabulous. So I'm gonna use two teaspoons of that in place of my um, bouillon cubes. So let me go ahead and add that real quick. All right, so there's my curry powder, and there's my bouillon. Stir this around, get it all nice and mixed up. I'm also going to add some pepper, but before I add the pepper, I'm going to add, start adding a little bit more milk, gradually. Mmm, oh, that's so good. I'm hoping that this is going to be that meal that I can convince Isaac to come back home and visit after he leaves us, leaves the nest. Be like, Isaac, I'll make your favorite if you'll come visit. <laughs> of course, what you start, you got to finish. So that means I'm going to be cooking this for many, many, many more years to come. But that's okay. I like making it. I love feeding my brood. All right. So let me get some pepper. a little handy thing that my mother-in-law bought me years back. I love it, love it, love it, love it. And I am going to go ahead and add a little bit of salt to my broccoli and rabbit. Y'all, rabbit is so good. Um, if you've ever wanted to start making your own or raising your own meat, I highly, highly recommend raising rabbit. They're so easy. And you will have an endless supply of meat. Because as you know, rabbits are very, very um, prolific, I guess you could say. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to continue to heat this. I'm going to add more milk as I need. And I'll show you what the consistency needs to be when you're ready to add it to the dish. Okay, this is just about ready. Uh, one thing you can do while you're waiting for this sauce to get ready is grate your cheese because y'all I'm telling you there is nothing better than fresh grated cheese don't buy that pre-grated cheese it's not good it doesn't ever melt um, the same way it's just not if you want to up the ante on your casseroles shred the cheese or grate the cheese I should say yourself don't buy the pre-shredded cheese um, makes a difference also uh, Sharp cheese. Sharp cheddar cheese is the bomb.com. Start using that instead of the medium or the mild, and you will definitely taste a difference. Okay, so you see how this is just, it's like a slow drip. That's what you want. If it's too runny, your casserole is going to be too runny. If it's too thick, your casserole is going to be too thick. Play around with it. I mean, it's still going to be good, but you know, just practice and, and until you get it right. Um, so that's, that's what I'm looking for is this kind of a slow, thick, soupy consistency. So I'm going to turn this camera off and add this. I'm just going to pour it and try to pour it as evenly as possible on top of my casserole. Okay, so I kind of dripped it on there as evenly as possible. Then I'm just kind of kind of spread it around as best I can with my um, spatula here. They don't have to be perfect, y'all. It's a casserole. That's the good thing about casseroles. They're very forgiving. They don't have to pre be pretty. They just got to be good. That's what matters, huh? We don't go for looks. We go for the taste, right? I mean, you're going to taste this. Mmm. Mmm. That sauce is perfect. All right, let me go grate this cheese, and I'll be right back. Okay, I took a whole sleeve of um, Ritz crackers and crumbled them up like so I'm gonna watch this one and then we're just gonna sprinkle that on top of the cheese Can I try? no Mary you haven't washed your hands 
Oh yeah, I gotta watch this one. Mm -hmm. Let me save some for Mary to put on there because she's going to wash her hands and if I don't save some for her, she's going to have a broken heart because her mama didn't wait. So, you know how that goes. Cooking with toddlers. Anyway, while I'm waiting on her to get back, um, so yeah, uh, this is a phenomenal recipe, a really, really good, easy, well, I can, to me it's easy. I started making this when I was probably 18, so it's been 20-something years that I've been making this. All right, Mary, you can take that and just sprinkle it on there. Oh, I thought you were going to grab it with your hands, but go ahead. All right, thank you, ma'am. All right, once you get that all on there, you're going to take some three tablespoons of melted I put, butter. I want to put, I want to put. No, Mary, this is, this actually has to be drizzled just right. You don't want too much butter in one spot. This is more advanced. Okay, just watch. So you're going to carefully drizzle, because, you know, you, you've got to up the ante on this and make it nice and fattening, right? Yeah. This gives it that extra yum. But it smells so good right now. I just so anyway, this. what I was saying is, uh, this is a great recipe for you newlyweds. You want to surprise your man with a delicious dish, or if you're a single lady and you want to catch you a man, learn how to make this, and I guarantee you. Well, I do. Unless like he's this. just an extremely picky eater, he's gonna love it. All right, so into the oven she goes for three for thirty minutes at three fifty. Okay, it'll be nice and bubbly when it's ready. Mmm. -mm. Ooh, my lens fogged up, y'all. I'm trying to clean it off. Oh, does that smell good? Can you tell my kids are excited? Look at that. Perfect. Yeah. So on a scale of 1 to 10, how excited are you? Oh, uh, look. 10.5. <laughs> it's like the best meal ever. <laughs> Okay, you guys, I'm going to try this. It's more convincing if it's good, if, if I'm trying it, like, on the video. So, here we go. Y'all. Uh, yeah, this probably is the reason why he asked me to marry him. <laughs> that good this is so good y'all like I would marry me I would marry me so um, try this recipe I'm telling you right now you will not regret it let me know if you've tried it um, tell me how it turns out if you have any questions just let us know and be sure to like share and subscribe on Facebook I mean on Instagram YouTube or Facebook and we'll see you guys on the next video